Skill 13, construction of a dike. You are to demonstrate the proper construction of a dike to divert a hazardous material spill. Responders may use a dike to divert or change the direction of a spill. It is not designed to stop the spill. A dike is helpful when you need to divert a spill away from a waterway, storm drain, or other source you wish to protect. A three firefighter team is necessary to construct a dike, two firefighters to build the dike, and one to act as safety officer, who is the eyes and ears of the other responders. In particular, the safety officer helps ensure the responders are working ahead of the spill and staying clear of the product. To stay ahead of the spill, work together to anticipate where it will go and to shape the dike accordingly. Square-nosed shovels are helpful tools, allowing you to shape the dike, fill in any holes or weak spots, and compact the dirt in order to make the dike hold firmly. The state requires a dike to be at least 6 feet long and 6 inches high. Keep in mind, these dimensions are only for state testing standards. In an actual incident, the size of the spill would determine the height and length of the dike. A dike may be as short as 1 or 2 feet long, or possibly over 100 feet long. Once you have completed the dike and diverted the spill, you must evaluate that it is constructed appropriately and accomplishes the objective, successfully diverting the spill. Verbalize your evaluation to your evaluator.